OK, so we have now Tropical Storm Sally, but overnight it did um, upgrade as a it was a hurricane one storm overnight upgraded to a category two hurricane right before making landfall at Gulf Shores, Alabama. Uh, it was moving at three miles per hour and winds were at 105 miles per hour. It'll continue. Uh, we can see it here now as a tropical storm. It's going to continue uh, downgrading to a tropical depression later today. Um, move through Alabama, entering into a uh, central area of um, Georgia before moving through um, central area of South Carolina um, over, yeah, uh, over the next few days. Uh, current forecasted rain for the uh, next 72 hours. So this does not include what has already fallen. Uh, this is just looking ahead. We can see that um, still multiple impacts um, with you know the area entering from Alabama into Georgia, um, seeing anywhere from six to some portions of 10 uh, inches in the next 72. That's on top of what they already have received. So what the flood gauges tell us um, is uh, at certain locations, if uh, they are at areas at risk of flooding, so any dot that you see is purple means that is in a major, uh, it's, it's major flooding. So it's well above the flood stage in that area. Red is going to be that moderate flooding for that area. So those are areas we want to look at um, and start focusing in on. What this is showing you right now is looking at what the current status is. Um, but if we do look at projected, we actually start seeing a lot more areas um, up in Alabama that will have uh, major to moderate flooding, about 30, is it no, 24 or so um, gauges will be in moderate to major flood status by tomorrow. And that'll be from uh, the Baldwin County area across um, portions of uh, the Florida Panhandle. You can see these um, and all the way down near Panama City, just north of it in Bay County. So with these red lines that you see, this is uh, notating uh, blocked roads, uh, closed roads for many different reasons, whether it's trees down, flooding, seeing a lot of these big bridges uh, that connect different areas um, are completely blocked, some um, having significant damage that won't be fixed anytime soon. Others uh, just flooded, um, but may open shortly. So we can see, especially in the areas that have just been impacted, uh, especially around Pensacola and within Baldwin County, uh, having a lot of those impacts, but we are seeing additional um, road closures uh, moving into Alabama as the storm moves with it. But to point out a few areas, so uh, Baldwin County, first county to really take, um, you know, that major hit. We saw impacts as the storm moved in. Uh, we, you know, there's been, it's been raining uh, in these areas over the last 24 plus hours, um, pretty much the last two days. Uh, so we know those impacts have been occurring, but really overnight as it made landfall, really started showing some of those areas. So immediate areas we saw were in Baldwin County um, and just looking in um, Foley, into Somerdale, Robertsdale, these areas, um, our teams did see uh, significant damage of road closures, um, trees down, lots of flooding. And then as we kind of move with the storm, uh, especially in the Pensacola area, uh, significant flooding occurring in the Pensacola area. We did hear from Florida uh, in the EOC stating that their projections are about 80,000 homes will be impacted in uh, mostly in just the, the Florida Panhandle area, um, just at, based on inundation maps. I'll hand it back to you, Jake.